Yes. See, that which is very visible, its power to dominate is much less because you know what it is. Suppose you have a hidden enemy, then naturally you are much more frightened of the hidden enemy. You think what all the person can do. The unconscious being hidden, you have a natural fear of that because you do not know fully what is there. But once you confront it and you bring it to the conscious level, it can no more trouble you. So what we are trying to do is to make you conscious of the unconscious. Then it is no more the unconscious. If it is no more the unconscious, it loses all power. Suppose there is somebody inside and you are told he is a very dangerous man, he is Veerappan inside and therefore you will be shivering throughout the day. Later on when you open up you find there is only a cripple inside. So the entire fear is gone. So as long as a thing is not known, you have a lot of fear. In real life also, if you know, if you know a gunda and you are frightened of him, but let us say a situation so arises where you have to confront the gunda, you will realize suddenly the fear is gone. This can actually be seen in real life. I have seen once in, uh, in my own life how a lady hit back at a gunda and then he became very timid after that. <laughs> the lady was cornered, she had no other go, but she had to hit him. She confronted him, she lost the fear, the gunda got the fear. <laughs> so, we are trying to help you to confront your unconscious. You are all the time running away from your unconscious. We are trying to help you to confront it. Once you confront, the gunda is no more a gunda. <laughs>